In this video, I quickly wanted to go over 26 problem-solving techniques and topics you must know for the math subtest of Diaz, Vep, and PyCat. That is both the arithmetic reasoning subtest as well as a math knowledge subtest. And before I get started, I just want to mention this as well. For each and every one of these topics in this list, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel. So if there's a topic you're not familiar with, find that playlist on my YouTube channel and go through it. So with all that said, let's go through this list here. All right, so first and foremost, you have to be able to perform basic arithmetic with integers. That is to say, you have to be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide positive and negative numbers. Number two, factoring. You have to be able to factor something where the leading coefficient is one and when the leading coefficient isn't one. You'll see at least two factoring questions on the test. You have to understand what factorials are. That's the exclamation point after a number. That means you just take that number and multiply it by every number that's less than that number until you get to one. So five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. Number four, you have to be able to add and subtract polynomials. I guarantee you'll see at least one question where you have to add and subtract polynomials. You have to be able to solve equations. You should expect to see two to three questions involving solving equations. You have to be able to solve inequalities. You have to know about exponents, perfect squares, and square roots. So if I asked you what is the square root of 169, you should be able to tell me that that is going to be 13. You have to know about prime numbers and prime factorization. Number nine, you have to know about the triangle sum theorem, transversals, and angle pair relationships. So for example, you should know that complementary angles add up to 90 degrees and supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. You have to know how to write equations of lines. You have to know about the order of operations. Again, this is a very basic topic. You have to be able to perform long division. What's more, you have to be able to work with decimals. That includes adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. You have to be able to work with fractions. That includes adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. You have to be able to work with percentages, including the percent change formula. You have to know how to solve problems involving distance, rate, and time. That is D equals RT. You have to know how to translate statements into equations for word problems. You have to know how to calculate average and mean in word problems. You have to know how to solve problems involving ratios, rates, and proportions. Again, proportions are nothing more than two fractions that are set equal to each other. You have to solve problems involving similar figures. You have to be able to calculate tax tips, discounts, successive discounts, and original price. You have to understand how to calculate basic probability. Uh, you have to know how to solve geometry problems that includes perimeter, area, volume, surface area, and so on and so forth. Again, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator on the ASVAB or PyCat, so you do have to commit these geometry formulas to memory at some point. You have to be able to make some simple conversions. Uh, you have to be able to calculate simple interest, that is I equals P times R times T, interest equals principal times rate times time. And you, above all else, have to be able to tell time. 